the dreamers of dreams. Hey guys, I'm Common Rider Silver, and today we're going to be taking a look at the NECA 2001 Godzilla action figure. This Godzilla is from the movie Godzilla All Out, Monst All Out Monsters Attack, or GMK, Godzilla Mothra King Ghidorah. Uh, Baragon was in that movie, so I don't know why it's like not GMKB. He got killed really quick, so I guess I don't really count him, but yes, I got this figure during Free Comic Book Day. Hope you guys went to Free Comic Book Day too. If you don't know what that is, it's every Saturday. It's the first Saturday of every May, and there's free sample comics. It's really awesome. And usually the stores at the time are having sales, and it's just a nice big nerdy gathering. This guy wasn't on sale, but he was really cheap there. He was only twenty three dollars, and I just saw him out of the corner of my eye, and I just was like, I got to get this figure. It's very awesome. So. Let's just take a look at him. Take a look at this head. Look at that. That is GMK as it gets. Look at that. GMK is one of my favorite movies. I just, I love that Godzilla. He was so, I mean, just look at that face. Isn't that just scary? That's how he was in the movie. He was just, he's, he's not actually Godzilla in that movie. He's not like a dinosaur that got mutated, he's a, he's like souls of soldiers, of Japanese soldiers, that's why his eyes are white, because he has no soul, he's just amazing, look at that detail, wow, look at the mouth, that's just amazing. I know there have been complaints on this head sculpt saying it's not super accurate, but for me, I still think it's quite nice. I do have to say the bottom jaw, for some reason, is like a little pinky. It's kind of pinkish. You can see that. But it's, it's, it's perfect to me. And coming down the rest of his body, you can see these nice spikes, the, the nice dorsal fins. I know NECA Godzilla figures are kind of knocked sometimes for having small dorsal fins, but no, these are nice. and they're, they're painted so nicely. It's so, so cool. And then they go down his tail. His tail's not huge, but he gets the job done. Taking a look at the rest of the figure, he has a sort of... Let's see if I can kind of pick that up. You can see kind of the greenish tinge to him. And supposedly, if I bring my light really in, you can kind of see on his head it's quite green. Can you see that? I don't know. Maybe mine isn't as bad, but I guess on the head for some people's it's quite green. I just think he looks fantastic. Taking a look at his toes, that's, that's another big part of GMK for me, is the toenails. They have to be really big. And his thighs, yikes. This boy thick. Talk about thunder thighs. He's got nice hands, look at that. I really like the nails, they're really sharp, they're like little karambits. Just look at that. It's amazing. One thing I do have to say is he is a little hunched. A little bit of a hunchback. Being on the Millennium Godzilla was too, so. The stature is a little weird. But you can put his head up. He's not as hunched. Still looks cool though. I really, really like him. <laughs> Just look at that. I know they're making a variant of him. It's going to be kind of blue dorsal fins, blue around the mouth, and he's going to have a blast effect. That is going to be boss. Wow. This figure is just amazing. Look at that. I love it. So, taking a look at articulation. It's very, very nice, of course. These neck figures are amazing. So the head goes down really far and up a good amount. 
I think you can kind of see right there how the head's a little bit green. And then his neck swivels and kind of goes side to side. His arms go all the way around. And then they go up, down, bend at the elbow, swivel at the wrist. And unlike the 2014 Godzilla, this Godzilla has articulated hands. So he can kind of make fists, I guess. That. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but anyways, he can do that. His diaphragm joint that goes kind of up and down a little bit. And he has leg articulation that go out, in, forward and back. Not, not a lot. He has knee articulation that goes back a little bit forward. His foot articulation it basically just rotates and kind of pivots a little bit. Not a lot. He's very tight. Not, I mean, he is, he's cool, but like his, his joints are quite tight. Ah. Oh yeah, he also has jaw articulation. And then coming down the back, his tail at the base doesn't rotate. And it rotates right here. Goes up and down. Then this is the piece that you plug in. Actually, no, not yet. This kind of rotates and it goes up and down. And then you plug in this piece right here and it, it's on the ball joint. And there's a bendy wire, as you can see. I've kind of... it a little bit. So in the tail, there's one, two, three, four, five points of articulation. So it's nicely articulated. Look at that. That is just... that's a nice figure right there. That's quality. And for, I can't believe I only paid, what, $20, $24 for this? Look at that. That's just amazing. So for this menacing Godzilla, we got a few comparisons. I have this, or oh, this is my dad's uh, Bandai GMK Godzilla. And this still has got to be one of my favorite GMK Godzillas. It's a big figure. And it just, it's, I like the, I like the, I like the, the stature. This guy is a little bit bent over. I do, I do have to say that. This Godzilla is very straight up. And I, I just really like this Godzilla. But, honestly, this, this, this figure is still great. I, I still love it. But, this is, yeah, this is kind of like the quintessential 2001 Godzilla to me. Next, let's compare him with the Bandai Creations 2001 Godzilla. Once again, you can see, I mean, this Godzilla is a little bit, I don't know, he, his, like, stomach sags a little bit too much for me. His legs are maybe just too small, I don't know. And his spikes are a little bit too big, so this is kind of a weird Godzilla. But I still liked him plenty when I was little, you know, he's, he's not bad, he's a, he's a good sturdy Godzilla, and I have, like, two of him, so, uh, I had plenty to go around, yes. So the last figure I want to compare him with is dun, 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 oh nice entrance 2014 the 2014 NECA Godzilla my only other NECA Godzilla I hope to get the Shin Godzilla but he's kind of rare right now uh, but yeah 2014 Godzilla and wow has NECA evolved this Godzilla is fine don't get me wrong I, I like this Godzilla but this one has so much more detail I mean they just really have stepped it up they have better sculpting in like the legs it's not as bright and shiny as this one I mean this is more of a aquatic Godzilla but this one has a very very dirty look to him and this one is just kinda shiny kinda plasticky looking uh, but still 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 fine I saw another review I think it was by ooh, Rafael Sehman I think that's how you say his name I don't know I think he said uh, if if they were to make a new 2014 revised version it would look a lot better and I, I would I would tend to agree. This is a this is a nice figure, but this is just a superior looking figure. I don't know. It's more quality looking. It looks more like a uh, SH Monster Arts. I mean, it's nowhere near the quality of those, but it looks closer to that. Last thing I gotta do that I forgot to do was measure him out. He claims to be a foot long. Let's see. Yeah, it's about a foot long. And to the top of his dorsal fin, he's about six and a half inches. So, he's a pretty nice, big figure. 
So there you go, guys. There was a look at the GMK, or Godzilla 2001 NECA figure. I got him displayed here with the GMK Vinyl Mothra, GMK Vinyl Baragon, and GMK Vinyl um, King Ghidorah. So, there you go, guys. There was a look at Godzilla from GMK. I hope you guys liked this review. Uh, my giveaway is still open till Wednesday. I'll put a link down in the description so you can enter for that once again. You have to be a subscriber, it's in the US only, and comment and comment what your favorite Kong design is, and you'll be instantly entered for my giveaway. So, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!